So let's bring back the pipe and of course assume that it has an incompressible fluid that's undergoing steady flow. Now if I took two points, let's say over here and here, the question is what would be the relationship for their speeds? Say if I assume the speed here is V1 and the speed here is V2, what would this V1 and V2 depend upon? For that, let's do something extremely simple. Let's conserve mass. Okay? But before that, say assume, say assume you have a pipe and which is filled with a fluid and I add x grams of some fluid on one side, how much will flow out on the other side? Simple, right? Obviously, x grams. And because they are incompressible, because the fluid is incompressible, if I add, the volume will also be the same. So, if x grams uh, amounts to a few liters, or let's say x liters, then the same amount of liters will come out as well. So, similarly, if I take a volume of a fluid in a container and push it like this for a time dt, very small time dt, the volume that was lost on this side will be the same, right? Should be equal to the volume that is gained on the other side, right? So if at this point, the area of cross-section, let's say, is A1 and the speed as I push is V1 and at this point, the area of cross-section is A2 and the speed is V2, then the volume lost over here will be A1 into this distance, right? Let's call some distance. And that distance would be V1 into dt, right? Speed into time. So because dt is extremely small, we can assume that the area doesn't change within that small distance. So Similarly, so finally, the volume would be A1, V1, dt. Now, if we come to the other side, the volume gain will be, again, A2 into this distance, which is A2 into V2 into dt. So by conservation of mass, we know that the volume will be the same. So therefore, A1, V1, dt should be equal to A2, V2, dt. Okay? That means, if I cancel out dt on both sides, I get A1, V1 equals a2, V2. Now, because I took two random points, this proves that if an incompressible fluid is undergoing steady flow, then the product of the area of cross-section and the speed will be the same for any two random points. And this is called the equation of continuity. And this product, AV, is equal to what? It is basically equal to the area into so if you consider this section, it's area into distance traveled by time taken. Now, area into that distance is nothing but the volume. So, AV is nothing but the change in volume by time taken, right? So you can say that AV is nothing but DV or D capital V by DT, where capital V is basically the volume. So this basically means that the product of the area of cross section and the speed at a point is also equal to the change in volume by time taken. Okay? So now finally, you should be able to explain something that you would have noticed if you ever played with a garden hose. So if you remember, what happens is when you squeeze the mouth of the garden hose, the water that's coming out sort of speeds up, right? Now, think about it and try to explain that using what you just learned. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Baiju's, the learning app today.